So this is the first ever direct upload I've done. Um, currently installing Windows 7 on my Lenovo X220 because it's just had a new hard drive fitted. I had an absolute nightmare making the uh, the USB disk for it. I tried using the ordinary Windows tool, Windows 7 USB creator tool. It didn't work because it doesn't format the uh, it doesn't make the um, master think about it straight on. It doesn't make the uh, the disk a GPT format disk. Uh, it's something to do with, uh, so I think GPT is um, a, uh, a like a, a new version of the master boot record. It's just confusing. Um, but I finally found out how to get it to work after about four hours of mucking about. So I thought I'd share it and document it for my own purposes. Um, just thinking about I can't actually show you because I'm obviously using the flash at the moment so what I'll do is I'll just dictate it out. Come on, get it there. But basically what you have to do is make sure you're starting off with a clean flash pen there's no files on there that you need because uh, otherwise you'll lose them. Plug the flash pen into the computer uh, go into start uh, type in the box CMD, uh, right click on it, say run as administrator, uh, type disk part, D I S K P A R T, press enter. Um, then it's if you do um, list disks, um, press enter, it will show you a list of the disks, and on the left hand side, you'll see the ID of the disk. Um, in my case, it was disk number one. Then you do select disk one, clean, uh, convert space GPT, uh, create partition primary, format FS equals FAT32 quick. Uh, when that's done, do assign, then copy the contents of the Windows CD onto the flash pen, delete the sources slash ei.cfg file and lastly but not leastly open up the uh, win uh, install.wim is in the sources folder if I remember rightly uh, find boot mfgw.exe and copy that into the flash pen forward slash efi forward slash boot you have to make the boot folder forward slash boot x64 dot efi eject the flash pen on the laptop set um, go into the BIOS and set uefi only mode uh, on the rightmost tab save exit put the flash pen in press f12 when it's turning on select the flash pen and bam you can install windows finally hopefully that's going to be useful for someone I'm going to add some annotations to the video so that you can see what you need to type and uh, good luck, have fun, enjoy <laughs>